everybody. We're live again on MP4. MP4. It's Jeff and Justin, the frustrated rock stars. I love that you, MP4. Well, that's the file, so. I didn't know. It's the wave of the future. So come and join us, have a drink. Uh, we're having a nice one here at the uh, On the Rocks Tavern in Sandy Springs, Georgia. Thank you so much for joining us. We do a little talk and roll. We like to talk some music, rock and roll, right. pop, rap. Have a, have a drink. Everything. God forbid, have a drink while Have we a drink, it. you know, so yeah. toast, sit down, and uh, you know, let, let's, let's talk turkey. Let's talk turkey. What are we doing tonight? But one of the things I want to talk about tonight was, and let me just ask you, I mean, do you think anybody wants to buy new music from an old star? And I don't mean old necessarily age, but an established artist with a catalog, right. and then they come out with the record. You know, Someone that had a heyday, and they're still right. kind of, a little bit older, still putting out material. Right. What do you think? I say it de totally depends on the genre. For example, huh. Like the old classic rockers like Journey, uh, right. Night Ranger, uh, Blue Horse to Cult, the Deep Purple Deep even. Purple. Um, they can put on new albums, no one really cares. It's yeah. not going to do very well. Yeah, their built-in core audience will buy them. And that's, and that's you know, depending on how big you were, it's a, yeah. It gets shrinker, you know, smaller like, and smaller. Even the Rolling Stones. Bridges to Babylon. <laughs> it's not going to be, anyway, and, and these guys don't even, they record them and then they pretty much throw them away. They never play them again. I don't know how many records that sold. Seriously. I'm sure it went platinum. I'm sure it went platinum with the Stones. Worldwide? But it's, it's the Stones. Worldwide. But like a new Deep Purple album will, won't even go gold. No. Even though it could sound just as good or as classic rock as Machine Head, it's not right. going to do as well. However, I think some artists, some more pop artists that are still relevant or still newsworthy, I guess, can, can still put out new albums that people like and enjoy. I think Madonna's the, the prime example because her last album that just came out is number one. But isn't she like an anomaly? Well, I mean, I mean Madonna. that's what I mean, we're here to talk about. I mean, Madonna could, you know, blow her nose and, you know, someone's right. going to buy it. Because she's going to have a cardboard cutout right when you walk in the music store. She's going to be on Ellen. She's going to be, you know. Right, she's going to have the marketing. Oprah. She's going to have the marketing. Because, marketing because she's buy. always been newsworthy and always been kind of relevant to pop culture. You know, what about like a Tom Petty, if Tom Petty had a hit? Well, let me ask you this. You're the biggest Tom Petty fan I know. Did you buy his last album? <laughs> okay, you know. And you're right. As a Tom Petty fan, I'm kind of full. I'm pushing, <laughs> right, yeah. I'm pushing the plate away from the table. <laughs> yeah, maybe, oh, yeah. that was good, but oh, no, another plate. I'm sorry. You know, I had my Tom Petty. Yeah. But, you know, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. Right. But I'm you, not saying if I heard a couple tracks. You're not waiting for it like you were no, I'm not, full moon fever. I'm not there midnight Tuesday. <laughs> right, right. Uh, remember those days? Push getting, against the glass. Getting, no, it'd be Monday night at midnight right, because right, the albums right, are released on Tuesday. Right. I don't think anybody does that anymore. But, uh, but I do have every Tom Petty album up right. to 2000. The last DJ. The last DJ 4, 2004? The last DJ that was like when I bought 2002, 2004. And I got to tell you, it stunk. Oh, really? I mean, it was a long, it was one of those songs, it had like 17, 18 songs. Oh, yeah. And there was like three good songs. So like, that kind of ended it for me. Well, it's the same thing with, with Paul McCartney, a great artist. Obviously, everyone loves Paul McCartney, Beatles, and a lot of his right. solo work. But his last few albums, I still you know, think he, that, he keeps putting them out every few years, and they sound great, but they just don't I really. I still think people that like, just because you're a Beatle fan, you're not necessarily a Paul McCartney solo music fan. I think most people gets get his greatest hits and that's enough. and that's enough i don't think there's a lot of people that run out and buy tug of war and then flaming pie flaming pie you know what i mean i also don't think there's a lot of people out there that did that anyway like the first one even right it's like okay we had the beatles then the wings enough with the mccartney <laughs> here's here's a band of kind of that of that genre a 70s rock band where i think their new album is good and has done well is the eagles right but they're kind of the exception because they haven't done an album of new material since 1980 when they broke up Right. So, like, there were a lot of people waiting. Now, when you go to the Eagles concert, will people want to hear those songs? No, you know how that goes. Nobody wants to hear any new music. The worst thing you can hear when you're at a concert, you, you know, when you're here, seeing, like, one of your favorite bands is, all right, here's something from the new record. Well, it's good and bad. It's, it's good because you get to take a break and not miss anything and yeah. go to the bathroom. It should be called bathroom break. Right. If I had a new song, it would be called bathroom Yeah, that's break. what was tough about going to the police concert, because there wasn't any bathroom break. It was all the police hits. There was right. nothing new to right. walk out on. Although, I'll walk out on Roxanne. Yeah, I said it. Me too. In fact, we both did. No, but, okay, it's time to go. As soon as I hear the first, even on the radio, God, I can't stand it. So, hey, well, that's a good question. I hate to say that. The, the police, like, kind of like the Eagles, the police have been broken up for a long time. If right. the police did a new record, would it be, would it kind of break through the mainstream or would it be? 
I think, it, I think it would. Uh, would it sell a lot? Brisk, or? you know, have some brisk sales. It'd have its one it's week. Not sell five million copies. It'd have its one week at the number one spot and then right. drop off. I think it would sell better than you think. It wouldn't be like ten thousand people. It wouldn't buy it. You right. know what I mean, I mean, it would sell half a million, million, two million, which is good, you know. That's a career for some bands. Yeah. Well, what, what do you consider a successful sales? If it uh, went platinum, which it would go platinum. 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 But see, they would get the marketing muscle behind them. I think. Yes, that's they what they would it, be on Letterman, and they would be maybe not talking, but Sting would be talking, and they'd right. do a song. Bruce Springsteen's the star. Nobody knows who Clarence Clemens is. There's a good Except one. Music fans. Well, there's a good one. Bruce puts out new albums. They I sell. think they do well. And they they do sell good. They do. They sell. They sell really well. I have to know that. But look how big he got. Everybody knows who Max Weinberg is. He's on Conan, and then you got. Uh, God, I always get this wrong. Is it Steve Van Zandt? Yeah, Steve. Little Steven, little yeah. Stevie. From The Sopranos. Oh, he's oh, he's yeah, on The so Sopranos, so he's out they there. They had a little more... Uh, they're oomph. relevant. Yeah, a little use, more relevant. Use the word relevant. Yeah. I mean, they're out there, Jerry. You know, yeah. they're, they're doing things. <laughs> Plus, he's Bruce Springsteen. And he's got a huge built-in audience. Right, and which I is think, big. And I, Yeah, it is big. And yeah. I think his audience are the kind that are going to buy... Right, everything. Keep buying. Yeah. Well, you know? So I, I guess it depends on the artist more than the genre. Yeah. That's you true. said genre, but I think it's the artist. Yeah. You know, and the marketing muscle behind it. What a lot of them do is they'll go on smaller labels. Well, uh, you know, this is a horrible example, but everyone knows I love Enough's Enough. They're all, every album they put out is on a different little dink well, label. So the Smithereens. Was, Smithereens do that too. There's like Koch, Spitfire, Roadrunner, these yeah, but they, labels. Those but at least they're putting a record out. Right, but no one's buying it. But the, the, the core audience of fans can at least get new music. Right. So the core audience will do it. So that's, I mean, I, I think that kind of covers it. What do you think? Uh, you're, you're, you're right, but the main thing is, New material at concerts does not work. Never do it. I, I don't know why they but, always do it. Well, it's... I, I, all you, right, one. <laughs> we all do. All right, let's hear one. Yeah, just, Sometimes I kind of want to hear one. Not at a concert. I like to hear one from an album, not at a concert. I want to see if it sounds like the old stuff. Well, yeah, but however, it, 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 it depends on you. Every now and then I hear it going. When we saw Deep Purple, they did that one song, and uh, it was good. I don't remember it. Well, I do. I remember going. I would have rather her I mean, Woman from Tokyo because they didn't play they Woman didn't from play. Tokyo. Right. That's the thing you do in your in the car on the way home. Yeah. What, what happened to Woman of Tokyo? Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a podcast for another day. But thanks, guys, for tuning in. You know where to catch us. We're MP4, Jeff. MP4. It's, uh, yeah. You know, we got the YouTube, the MySpace. MySpace. Uh, and of course, subscribe at uh, iTunes and Zoom. Leave feedback wherever you want, and of course, email us at info at the frustrated you might even rock hear stars. Us in, in your tooth filling. Yes, sometimes <laughs> we come through, you just need uh, the earbuds. So uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot. Phone, not my leg. Yeah, I was wondering. I was like, right, wait, was, wait, something's wait. vibrating on me, and I think I like it. Remember?